The RoomTube project started almost a decade ago. A scientist, Yolanda Sibea, started thinking about early osteoarthritis of the knee, how difficult it would be to diagnose it, and started her first project, really, was to standardize the knee exam. My focus is really on um, identifying osteoarthritis at an early stage. Um, and I, I came to this problem when I was recruiting for a study using standard criteria, and they included x-ray. Um, and I found when I was recruiting patients for that study that the majority of the patients didn't qualify for the study because they had normal x-rays, but clinically they had typical symptoms of osteoarthritis. So I realized that we're missing a huge segment of the population with pain and osteoarthritis um, that is so early that it's just not captured. So that led me into the uh, research that I'm doing on early osteoarthritis to help um, diagnose it earlier, um, predict progression of disease, and predict those who are at high risk of progressing so that eventually we can intervene with appropriate treatments. Well, osteoarthritis is extremely common. Um, there are about 100 different types of arthritis, but the most common type is osteoarthritis or wear and tear arthritis. And osteoarthritis affects in the order of 10% of the population. Well, there, there are a number of reasons why people get osteoarthritis. Um, there are certain risk factors that we do know about. Genetics for sure plays a role. Um, people who have injured their knee um, are at risk of developing osteoarthritis down the road. Um, and uh, people who are overweight uh, are also more, li more likely to get it. Uh, women are more likely to get it than men. Women get osteoarthritis about twice as commonly. There's not much we can do about our gender, so that's a difficult one to alter. But the one that's modifiable is obesity. We know that, for instance, if you looked around a room and compared the people in the top third of weight to those with the bottom third of weight, those in the top third are about 10 times more likely to get osteoarthritis. Quite a staggering number, so that being overweight, perhaps not a lot overweight, is a major risk factor for osteoarthritis of the knee. Primary care doctors and rheumatologists alike see a lot of uh, knee problems, and it's very important for medical students to learn a systematic, appropriate approach to dealing with diagnosing knee problems. The reason for standardizing an examination technique like the knee is that if one physician examines a person and says, I think there's fluid in the knee, and the, another physician examines the same person at the same time and says there isn't, then what's correct? People with osteoarthritis oftentimes will benefit from the care of a team of health professionals, and that may include family physicians, rheumatologists, physiotherapists, and other health professionals. One of the challenges in providing the best care is to be able to communicate in a way that everybody understands each other. So having these standardized tests will allow health professionals who are working with the same patient with knee pain and knee osteoarthritis um, to be able to communicate each other in an efficient manner. So the standardized test can definitely help to improve the care for people with osteoarthritis in the knee. So the first step in assessing people is how do we actually assess um, clinically the knee in detail. So what, what I realized is that there, there's many techniques out there, but they haven't really been standardized. And so that's where we set out to standardize the knee examinations. Um, and that really helps that uh, to ensure that findings when we examine the knee are reliable. So we looked at all the tests that are out there and all the different maneuvers that have been done to try and assess those tests. And for this particular video, in terms of teaching medical students and uh, family practitioners, we focused on the clinical exams that are most useful um, that need to be done when uh, you suspect osteoarthritis or to assess the joint completely.